I'm going to share three passive income models with you today, and they are the FP model, the AA model, and the EP model. What are they? That's what I'm here to share with you today. These were shared with me by millionaire Pat Flynn, and we are going to go through all three models. I advise you to take notes, listen, and decide which model is best for you. If you're not interested in earning a passive income, then stop the video right now. This is not for you. If you are, stick around and we'll go through all three models. My name is Vanessa DeBerlay and I am here to help you make money, save time, and find balance in your life. So what is passive income? Passive income is building online businesses that work for you. Let me say that again. It's building online businesses that work for you. You don't work for them. They work for you. So remember that part that generate income, grow and scale without a real time presence. In other words, you're building a foundation, your business, and it's all behind the scenes work. And eventually everything that you build, everything that you do will start to work for you and start earning that income. So let's go ahead and get started wait, I have some skeptics. Is this even possible? Yes, it is possible. But again, you have to do the work. You have to build that business and then eventually the business will work for you. Keep that in your mind. The business is working for you. Oh, but can I do this without investing a boatload of money? Yes, you can invest a relatively small amount of money it's no it's different than investing in real estate or the stock market where you're putting everything you have at risk and hoping that it pays off when you start building an online business your your startup fees are very minimal um, and they're all relative uh, to the to the how fast you want to grow so yes some people dump more money in and they want to grow faster some people do it slowly and they use their time instead of their money so it can be done with a relatively small amount of money oh we have another skeptic is it easy to do no it's not easy it takes time it takes hard work um, when you hear see these other videos where they say you know make money overnight a thousand dollars a week um, just you know, in 30 days, you'll be making, you'll have your retirement planned and all that. All of that is a scam. It does take work and it does take time. And it takes some people two years. It's taken people four years to build up the business to where it's passive. And you're doing like an 80, 20, 80% of the work that you have put in results in only working 20% of the time once you have your business built. So if you don't want to work hard, you don't want to invest time, stop the video here this is not for you so you might ask what are the benefits besides making money you have your freedom back um, when you make money passively and you've put all that hard work in the payment the benefit in, in the end is that you have your life back honestly you can do things that you want to do you don't have to go clock in from nine to five and sit at work and wait for the the clock to hit a certain time so you can clock out and then you get home and you're exhausted and you don't have anything to give to your family you get to decide what you do with your time and when you do it you also gain flexibility um, I, I know for me I can remember having jobs where I just sat there and it just drove me crazy because maybe there wasn't enough work that day but we still had to sit there well now you have flexibility if you have work to do you can decide when you want to do it and you can stand up and walk away and do something else when that work is finished you don't have to sit there and wait for a clock to tick um, just to put your time in so you stop trading your time for money and that is the biggest benefit you take charge of your own life and have that freedom to do it and if that's something you're looking for then stick around so let's look at the FP model freelancer to product that doesn't sound passive to me does it to you a freelance person actually provides services for other people so when you become a freelancer maybe you're really good at web design so you would go to a site like Upwork or Fiverr.com and provide your services now why would you do that when we're talking about passive income actually this is one of the first steps in passive income remember earlier when i said it does take work 
and it does take time. If you don't do something else within the industry to help you earn money as you're working, you're going to get discouraged. You're going to feel like, well, I'm doing all this work and I'm not making very much money. Some people don't make anything for six months. Um, some people take a year. Um, it depends on, on what they've done and how they have to tweak their business. But if you're doing something that you know that you are good at and you can provide those services as a freelancer, then that'll help you make money as you're starting up and feeling like you're being productive. And another thing that it does, it helps you be part of the industry and you get to see what people are looking for out there and you start to make connections, real connections, because you're in there and you're working and you're earning. Um, every active business can become a passive business. And I'm going to give you an example. I have a friend that I met from Holland and his name was Hans and he had an, a VRBO business and he did something very unique with that business. He created the business using other people's properties. And so he would go out and find um, people who were flipping houses maybe. And he would say, Hey, um, before you sell that house, if you, if you haven't been able to sell it, can I go ahead and rent it as a VRBO? Now, of course, he had to watch and be in certain neighborhoods and things like that. There's a lot of um, background things that you have to do, but he created a business using other people's properties. So he was not investing in real estate. He was using other people's real estate and it was a win-win situation. He would offer to pay them 10% more than what they would get if they were renting it to somebody. And then he did that for a while, created a, a lucrative business. And yes, it was a lot of his time, a lot of effort, but he got so good at it that he built up a training and how to teach other people to build that same business. And that training sold for $997, last time I talked, and other people could take that information that he had and build their own business. And that's where that business turned into a passive income, a passive business, because then he could sell that document, that training on different platforms, and he was almost hands-free. So 80% of his time was now spent in earning passive income and 20% of his time was spent in maybe keeping that training updated and tweaking it and staying on top of things within that industry just to keep that uh, training up to par. So that's how your active business turns into a passive business. So you want to start thinking about what is it that I can do to start making some money and get into the industry. And you wanna pick something that you're passionate about, something that you have knowledge about. Um, it could be something like um, food. Maybe you wanna start uh, just talking about food and, and, and um, selling your knowledge with that, maybe a blog. Uh, maybe in the health industry, you wanna start um, providing knowledge there. So we're gonna talk about that in a minute, but right now, this is freelance to product. Start doing something so that you can start earning money and being productive while you're building that, that passive income. The second model is the AA model. This is audience and advertising. And this is something you're probably very familiar with. You're watching me now on YouTube. And whenever you start most YouTube videos, you will see that there's a little advertising there, a little ad. And of course you hurry up and go over <laughs> and skip ad. I have been in videos where that ad is placed right in the middle. And I was watching this great content and then all of a sudden there's an ad. Well, of course I wanted to see the rest of the content. So I had to go through the ad all the way through. So very very clever with placement as well. Those people are building an audience on a platform and then getting paid for the advertising. Now you can make really good money doing this. I know people that have made um, over four or $5,000 a month. And if you're happy with that, then this is a great way to earn a passive income um, with your videos that you've made. You can also um, earn money from having a blog where you put people's advertisements on there and as well as a podcast. Now you're still being active. You're providing podcasts. You're still providing writing on your blog and you're still creating YouTube videos. So that income is great, but you have to build an audience and it does take time. And you also have to have that platform that you've chose to make that money. So in essence, it's passive, but this all leads to the, the big model, which we're going to talk to about next. This model is what you're growing to. It's called the expert to product model. Um, I just gave you an example of my friend who started a VRBO business. That was the product and he became an expert 
and then developed a product from that expertise, from that knowledge into a training. And that is the passive income that is created. You, uh, Many people will create courses and different things that they have knowledge in. I've seen people create courses on how to build chicken coops, um, how to paint a certain, a picture a certain way, and they'll have a whole training on in art. And one of the things you have to do before you go off and want to create a training, um, this is why I talked about the first model where you have to go out and get into the industry. You have to find out what people are looking for. You might be really, really good at building tree houses and you've built different designs and you want to make a training on it. And sure, if somebody wants to build a tree house, they're going to buy it. But maybe there aren't a lot of people out there looking for that. So you've put all this work into something and you're going to make a minimal amount of money. And it's probably something that wouldn't stick around forever. If that makes sense, it wouldn't be evergreen. And that's what you're looking for. You want to find something that people are looking for. And when you start making those YouTube videos with that knowledge, that content, you're building a audience of people who are going to see your knowledge. And then eventually you're going to offer them, Hey, I have a course that I put together. They've been watching you on YouTube or listening to you on a podcast or following your blog. And they're going to say, you know what? I really like this person. They've grown to know, like, and trust you. And then they say, okay, I'm, I'm going to trust that guy with that, um, that recipe book that he's created. I've been following his blog. He's been writing about different um, nutritious recipes. I've been getting a lot of, gaining a lot of knowledge, or maybe he's been on YouTube um, cooking and, and sharing how to cook them and then puts a cookbook together or, or a big training together on, on maybe how to cater or something like that. If you, you've been following that person, you've been interested in that so that your audience is therefore then gonna buy that product, your knowledge that you put together into a course or into a training. And that's how the expert to product works. And that's how most of your influencers, influencers that you see online are making their money. And actually you may be sitting here and saying, I don't really have, you know, knowledge in, in a certain area. I'm not really sure what I could share. Everybody does have knowledge and, and they do have opinions and they do have experiences, but in the beginning it is hard to dig deep down in your own life and think that anybody would want to hear what you have to say. So a great way to get started is with affiliate marketing. And that's actually what I do and how I earn my money. What you do is you start promoting other people's products and then you earn a commission on that. And that is another way to earn a passive income because you, you can make, create YouTube videos that have the, where you're sharing um, how to use a certain piece of software. And then you put your link below and people will click it and say, Hey, I, I do. I like what they've just trained me on. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for that software, go to the 30 day free trial. And you get people, you know, gradually build up for memberships on different sites. And that's where you start earning your passive income. And most of that software, most of those sites that you're using, will stick around for a long time. Most of them are, you know, have been, been around and that those are the ones that you're promoting. So I do have a link below. There's a free business model it talks about affiliate marketing. It's free. It's just a PDF and it shows you what you need to do to get into affiliate marketing. If that's where you want to start, if you don't feel like I've seen many, many affiliate marketers will start from there with their passive income. And then later We'll start um, building trainings in all the different areas, um, the different steps, and give more detailed information to people to help them with their own business. And that's where courses come in that you've seen people selling. And that is the actually expert to product model that we've been talking. I want you to remember one thing as you decide on the business that you want to do. A successful business solves people's problems. So if you get into the health and fitness industry, you're obviously solving problems. People want to lose weight. They want to eat healthy. They want to exercise. So whatever business or niche that you get into, make sure that you understand what problems you're solving. What are people searching for? And then you provide the solution. All right. Thank you for watching today. I want you to do one more thing for me, um, which I want you to put down in the comments, which model do you think is best for you? And then let us know why. If you if this sparked any new ideas for you, go ahead and share those below. We would all love to hear. Um, one thing I love about this industry is people encourage each other. Everybody wants each other to be successful. There's really not competition as much as each person has their little spin on things, their, um, their passion, and they're all unique. So that's what's really cool about this whole industry. So thank you for watching. Make sure you click below and 
until I see you on the next one. Thanks for being here today.